We will start on the ice. After a few weeks off for winter break, Maine men's hockey is back out there prepping for their first game in a long time. We'll bring in Ryan Sudol for this one. Ryan, you were up in Orono talking with the Black Bears this week. What's going on at the Alphonte? Yeah, thank you, Tyler. I was up at practice on Tuesday, and the Black Bears are in a pretty good spot right now. They finished up their first half of their season hot, winners of four straight games. And it came at a pretty good time, too. After a good start, they went on a five-game skid, but those games were all close, one-goal games. They took their bye week, rattled off four wins, and then went home for break. So, yes, they're streaking to start the second half, but if you ask them, they kind of wish that they kept playing. It was actually been nice to kind of keep playing after, you know, when we were uh, winning a few games there. So, you know, we had two weeks off, and that's a long time to go without, you know, real organized practice. And uh, But the guys come back with good energy. We've been here since July, though, and, you know, we haven't had a break since then, so it was nice to get home and see our families. But for the momentum we built, you know, the, the, the four weekends, actually, of, of the end of November to, to mid-December, um, we really got on a roll. So it, it's tough to leave that for, for two weeks and a break. Yeah, so four wins in a row. Definitely tough to just kind of walk away from the ice after that. So sitting here right now, though, they're in a completely different spot than they were a year ago. They've beaten some good teams so far. They've hung with some good teams. So, Ryan, I'll ask you this. Can these guys make a run in Hockey East? In short, Tyler, yes, I believe so. They believe so, too. They're basically past their toughest tests of the year and said that if they bring everything every night that they think that they can hang with and beat just about anyone. We believe in this locker room. Our coaches believe, uh, every single one of our guys believe that we can make a push towards this back of the season. It's going to be a grind for sure, and we're young, and we're going to, we're going to learn and develop through the process. But I think we got all the pieces that we need to, to really make a push. We're a hard-working team. Our work ethic's never in question. I think it's just putting the, the details together, putting, uh, putting all the little things together. It's going to allow us to propel forward and make a push. And they start that push on Friday night in Colgate. Puck drop is at 7 p.m. Tyler, back to you.